driving it as a true part of the mix maybe around 2005, but see where the consumer is? As normal, the consumer's out ahead of us. Why? Because we react to the consumer. 800 million people went to Facebook, and, and I still have people saying to me, eh, we shouldn't have a Facebook page. That's just another place for people to complain. 800 million people? I don't care what they say, I want them looking at my page. Okay? What about 2008? Let's add paid search in there. It became a serious part of the marketing mix. Right? People started devoting budgets. There's many tools out there for us to use. 2012, social and display. We're having that discussion almost at every event now. Right? Social and display. Everybody's talking about it. But guess what? The consumers have been using it for years. So here we are again, reacting to the move that the consumer is making. Okay. How about we take a look out ahead a little bit and say, what about 2015? What about instead of being reactive, why don't we just imagine as a group what 2015 really looks like? And I think this is roughly it. You guys might be saying, what are you talking about? What's this traditional marketing piece? This guy's off his rocker. Right, but let's take a look at that traditional marketing piece and understand what it really is in 2015. Print. That's an iPad. Radio. That's Pandora. Spotify. A number of other applications. What about our TV? Google TV. Apple TV. Sony's got built-in apps on every TV. Right? What about direct mail? Email marketing, social networking. You guys see where I'm going here? Traditional marketing today is digital marketing. There's really only one piece left, and I guess that's outdoor, and that's a little bit harder to talk about, right? So, well, what's he gonna do here? Huh? What are you gonna do here, tough guy, digital guy? Well, you guys are all in Vegas, and I'm gonna assume that you've been out on the strip. It's pretty digital out there, and I'm here to tell you that there's companies today who are putting devices in places like Vegas and Times Square that are measuring the impact of outdoor advertising by picking up the proximity and activity of your cell phone. So if I'm walking in Times Square and I see an ad in a window that looks pretty cool and I stop, and I spend 30 seconds there taking it in and I leave, somebody knows that. <laughs> but very digital, right? Isn't that pretty digital? My message is here that we have real opportunity. I'm not, I'm not giving you a future look like 2030, but I am saying that there are plenty of different avenues for us to investigate and experiment with that exist today that make up really our tomorrow. Why wait until there's some enormous Pandora IPO merger acquisition and blah, blah, blah? Now, why do we do that? I don't know why we do that. We don't have to do that. Right? We can use the budget that we have and be flexible month over month, quarter over quarter, <coughs> and maybe get out to where the consumer is before 800 million of them are there. Make sense? So how do you know if you're set up for success? I have a really oversimplified graph to end my presentation. And it's really meant to be a bit introspective. I would hope that over the next two and a half days you spend some time thinking about where your dealership fits on this continuum. This is a very basic adoption curve. It really works for any industry, any product, any strategy. You can just Google it, you'll find this thing, okay? Alex Jefferson using display for two or three years is probably out there ahead of the curve, right? What happens is the 60% tends to wait for the failures of the 20% so they can avoid that mistake, right? Some of, one of the best motivational statements that I've heard, I think comes from Facebook, they say fail fast. Why not? Why not go out there and try something? Fail fast. Learn something, recover, and move forward. Or always be a step behind the consumer. That's a decision we have to make. I know in conversation, every single one of you would tell me our dealership is committed to being the best.